Hello makeup lover and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've already been here before. If not, my name is Melina. I'm a Danish makeup artist living in Barcelona in Spain. And for today's two different looks, I pull out my love collection iconic infatuation palette. It's one of three palettes that came out around Valentine's Day 2023. Um, they are fairly neutral, all of them. This was the most cool tone, so this was the one I went for. However, I don't feel it looks super cool tone on my eyes, but I like it. It's a nice palette to have, although you can easily dupe it if you have the different mothership that came out and some of, a, of the other palette that Pat McGrath had come out with. So uh, don't jump <laughs> on the website and, and get it to make these looks. I'm sure you can you can uh, do them without this palette. But anyway, if you wanna see how I did these two different looks, please hang in there and I will show you. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or good ideas for future content, please put it in the comment box. And lastly, of course, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Now, let's go ahead and do some makeup, shall we? I'll show you the palette to begin with. It's a very, very lovely, for me, very neutral, and very safe palette, but it's beautiful for sure. Using my Builder Pro, I dipped into the Candlelight Affair, I think it's called. It's a highlighting shade that's always in the upper left corner and I'm using it under my brows here, just to lighten up this area. Dipped into Bare Venus with my Blender Pro brush and I'm just stamping the color on here as a transition shade. If the sound is uh, a little bit louder now, it's because I forgot to put on my mic. I'm sorry for that. Dip my mini booster into Endearment. It's the, I would say, m medium shade. As you can see, it's, it's a very neutral look so far. Dipped into the same color again with my mini booster and I'm keeping it down here. This is the palette of the three from the Love Collection that's supposed to be a more cool tone palette, but to me, I don't feel it's that cool tone or that rosy it's more it's I wouldn't say coppery but I, I don't feel it it's super cool toned I don't know if it's just me now with my soft definer I am gonna put the darkest color here and mostly in the outer corner here in the outer part to deepen it up a little bit and mix it into the other colors brushed off my mini booster and dipped into the endearment. And I'm just gonna use that under my eye here, ever so gently. Just going back and forth here to blend it out. When I pull out my intensifies, you know what time it is. It's time for some action with the sparkly shades. So I'm gonna put it all over my lid here on my mobile eyelid. With my Builder Pro, I dipped into the platinum color 
I'm just going to press it on and I hope something shows up. going to need a little bit more of the Platinum Divinity. I'm just pressing it on to avoid a lot of glitter because I did not put any powder under my eyes, so um, just pressing it on. Now it looks kind of foiled. That's cool. For the middle part, Fleur Ever Adorned. Mother sure has a way with words, inventing new ones for sure. And like the other color, I'm just pressing it on the eyelid and on top of the intensifiers it comes out really metallic it almost look kind of liquidy you see beautiful loving it and the last color i'm gonna use still on my blender pro still using the blender pro sorry builder pro of course is a highlighting shade that just got amped up by the intensifiers it looks pretty liquidy. So now all the three colors are blended into each other on the mobile lid, as you see. Since I do not want this look to be too heavy, I'm going to use a black coffee liquid eyeliner. And I'm just going to do a line here and then go inwards to the middle here, like so. I'm not going to leave it with that because I'm going to put on false eyelashes. Put on a little bit of mascara and this is what it looks like so far. I'm now going to put on some false lashes. And here you see the look with some false eyelashes. It amps up the look a little bit uh, when you put on some false lashes for sure. I'm now going to go on to the next eye. Starting out like I did with the other eye. And that means I'm going to put the highlighting shade on to begin with under my brows here. And I'm using the Builder Pro. Starting out the same way with the eyeshadows as well, using this lightest color as my transition shade. But as you can see, I put on a little bit more on my brush to make it darker and uh, a little more concentrated. I'm still gonna try to blend out the edges. I don't want any harsh edges here at all. So I'm just going like round and round circle emotions with my Blender Pro brush from Sonia G. With my mini booster, I dipped into the medium toned color from the eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to use that also on the same position here, but a little bit further down to concentrate it and to make it create a depth. Blending it into the other color so there is no um, very visual uh, difference or line between the two colors. This eye I'm gonna make smoky. So I'm gonna do a smoky eyes and therefore I'm using the darkest color now on the mobile lid. And I'm using my blender. No, I keep wanting to say blender pro. It's builder pro of course. On the mobile eyelid. I think we could use some more. It's not like super, super dark, this color. So just gonna build it up. You can, you can make it darker by building it up, layering it. And then I'm blending it into the socket here. I'm 
and into the other color. Took my soft definer brush and dipped into the lightest color of the matte shadows. And I'm just going to place that under my eye here. Dip my flat definer into the mid-tone color and I'm gonna put that closer to the lash line. And now going in with the darkest color, I'm gonna get it as close to the light line as possible. Oh, that was not enough color. I'm gonna dip in again. Dipped into the darkest color again. To really smoke it out, I'm going to use a black coffee eyeliner. On the top and on the bottom. To make this a little bit more intense now that it's a smoky eye, I'm going to use a black eyeliner. Put on a little bit of fetish mascara and here is the finished look with mascara. I'm going to go and put on some false lashes, of course. And here you see the look with the false eyelashes on. I know I said the final look, but I forgot to put on the highlighter here in the inner corner to lighten up this area, like so. If you feel it's a little bit too matte, you can always take your ring finger and Dip it into a color and put that on the middle of the lid here, just to amp it up a little bit. So this is it. This is a final look with a full face of makeup. I'm going to put on my glasses so you can see what it looks like with some glasses on. On my cheeks, I am wearing the Bridgerton collab, uh, should I say, uh, the blush palette and I'm actually using the pinkish color and uh, on top of that I am using the highlighting shade. It looks pretty glossy when I look in the mirror. I don't know if it comes out that way on the screen for you but anyways, on my lips I am wearing the Divine Rose lip gloss because I didn't want to go all out there now that we have a smoky eye going on. If you feel that this smoky eye is a little bit too boring and it needs a little bit more oomph uh, or you want to take it a level up. You can always uh, dip your finger in a astral shade or bleach shade whatever and put that on the middle of the eyelid, the mobile eyelid, to to kind of like amp it up a little bit and, and make it into some kind of smoky halo look. That'll be fairly easy. Um, but this is it for now with the very neutral and very soft, for me at least, um, love collection and iconic infatuation. That's what it's called. Now, I want to thank you so, so much for watching this video. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments or good ideas for future content, please put it in the comment box. And lastly, of course, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Now, thank you so, so much for taking your time out of your schedule to watch this video. I hope to see you soon again. Have an awesome day. Bye. Mwah.